Sunday School. We are so glad you are joining us today. Last week we talked about obedience. God is our protector and he wants to keep us from things that can harm us. Today we are going to talk about temptation. I think of temptation as being like a vacuum cleaner. It sucks us in. <laughs> Wait! When you clean out a vacuum, do you become the vacuum cleaner? <laughs> Anyways, it's often something we desire or want. Temptation is often something we can't or shouldn't do. We need to be very careful that we stand tall and seek God's truth and wisdom so we don't fall for everything. Temptation surrounds us every day. Today we are going to talk and learn about how Jesus was tempted. The amazing thing about Jesus is the fact that he was perfect, which means he stood tall and did not fall into temptation. Let's give our full attention to Dana as he introduces us to today's lesson. We are so glad you're joining us today. Today we're going to talk about something we've all had to deal with. We are going to talk about temptation. Temptation is basically when we really, really want something, but we know we shouldn't go there. When we really want something, but we know it's not right. So if you were stuck in a room with no food, and you were there for two days, you'd probably be really hungry, am I right? But the one instruction that you were given was, you cannot eat this granola bar. Now, how many of you think this granola bar probably would be a temptation? You know, I think we'd all be crazy if we said no, because that granola bar definitely would be a temptation for us. Now, temptation is when we wanna reach out for something, and it's kind of like this stick. You see, on this stick has a string, and on that string is that granola bar. And it's kind of like it dangles out right in front of you. And it's just hanging over your head, and more than anything, you want to reach out and grab that. You want that because it looks so good. You see, we've all been tempted. Have you ever been told, no more desserts, yet you sneak one more? That's an example of temptation. Or have you ever gone to a friend's house and they're watching a movie and you know your parents wouldn't approve? Once again, that is temptation. The issue isn't, are we going to be tempted? The issue is, how are we going to deal with that temptation? In today's story, we're gonna to continue to learn about how Jesus was tempted. We're gonna learn about how the devil tried to get Jesus to do things that Jesus knew were wrong. And we're gonna learn how Jesus fought off temptations. But before we do that, I'm going to ask you to stand. I'm going to ask you to sing and praise our amazing God. Whenever I run, you come and chase me. Wherever I go, you're always there. You catch me And when I hide You hold me tight And remind me who I am No high, no death Could take us from your love No lie, no death Could undo what you've done The future and the past are yours My life is in your hands And all these things I know Your love reminds me who
loves hearing all your voices praising him. Now let's say our big idea together. Jesus used the Bible to fight temptation and so can we. Okay, let's say our big idea together one more time. Jesus used the Bible to fight temptation and so can we. Hey kids, have you ever been tempted to do something you know you shouldn't? Like stealing your sibling's toy? Or talking back to your parents? Did you know Jesus was tempted to do stuff that he knew he shouldn't do? That's right, because that's what our lesson is about today. Before Jesus started his ministry, he went to the wilderness to get ready. Jesus was about to do a lot of things over the next few years. He was going to perform miracles, teach crowds, die on the cross, and rise from the dead. He had some big jobs ahead of him, so he went to the wilderness to pray and prepare. The devil tried to tempt Jesus and keep him from making the right choices. Jesus was out there fasting and praying. Do you know what fasting is? Fasting is when you don't eat any food, so then you can focus on praying to God. Jesus fasted for 40 days, so he was really, really hungry. Most kids get hungry after 40 minutes. So the devil used that against him to try to tempt him. The devil told Jesus that if he was really the son of God, that he should turn some rocks into bread so he can eat. Jesus could have done that because he was God and super powerful. But the reason why he was out there was so he can fast and pray. So he wasn't gonna be tempted into eating and ruining that. Jesus fought the temptations with his secret weapon, the Bible. The devil tried to tempt Jesus three different times, but each time Jesus had a response. And those responses came straight from the Bible. And his first response is our memory verse. People do not live by bread alone. Rather, we live by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. He used Bible verses to show the devil that he would not fall into temptation. And that is our lesson for today. Kids can use the same secret weapon that Jesus used to fight temptation. Jesus showed us the best way to fight temptation, the Bible. That's why it's so important for us to read the Bible and memorize it, so we know what it says. Kids, it's easy to be tempted to do bad things. That's why we learn to fight it. So next time you think about stealing your siblings' toys or talking back to your parents, think about this story about Jesus. He fought temptation with the Bible, and you should too. We want to know what you learned from today's video, so it's time to review. The first question is, how many days did Jesus fast? You're right, he fasted for 40 days. Now, who tried to tempt Jesus? The devil. True or false? We can fight temptation just like Jesus did. You know, the answer is 100% true. Jesus used a special weapon to fight against temptation. Does anyone remember what weapon that was? You're right, it was the Bible. Did you know that the Bible is God's instruction manual for you and how we should live our lives? So if we're questioning something, whether we should or shouldn't do it, we should go to the Bible for our answers. And if the Bible says we shouldn't do something, we simply shouldn't do it. You see, God wants to protect us. God loves us and God does not want us to get ourselves into danger or a situation that could tear us down. The Bible is a powerful tool. And I want you to remember this. The Bible is an extremely powerful tool when it comes to temptation. That reminds me of our memory verse. Let's all stand and say it together. People do not live by bread alone. Rather, we live by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Deuteronomy 8.3. Let's say that one more time. People do not live by bread alone. Rather, we live by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Deuteronomy 8.3. This is what Jesus said to Satan when he was trying to tempt him with food. Remember, Jesus was fasting for 40 days. 
That means he wasn't eating and he was really, really hungry. But he knew that Satan was tempting him to try to get him to do something wrong. So this verse is what helped him fight him off. That's what we need to do to fight off temptation as well. We need to stand on God's word, the Bible, and obey it. That's why it is so important to read our Bible. If we are going to use it to fight temptation, we need to know what it actually says. So the next time you want to do something that you know you shouldn't, take a minute and look at the Bible and see what it has to say. Don't fall into temptation. Fight it. Because remember, we have a God that loves us and wants to protect you from harm. Now let's stand and sing and praise our amazing God. and so can we. Okay, let's say our big idea together one more time. Jesus used the Bible to fight temptation and so can we. May God be above you to bless you, below you to support you, before you to guide you, behind you to protect you, beside you to comfort you, and inside to give you strength and joy. See, See you next week! week. <laughs>